but it's another good day in Arizona. It's currently raining right now, so that's nice. So what we, what we got going on today is actually I'm gonna be installing this carpet kit into my car. So I'm gonna be taking out all that, pretty much all that wrapping from the paint job and be installing this carpet kit. Hopefully also getting the seat back in because that has been out for like ever. And getting most like the trim panels and stuff back in over there. So should be good. Let's get it. Okay, so this carpet kit actually comes from a company called, well, I bought it from stockinteriors.com. I don't know if any of you really heard that like website. It's actually a really cool website because stock interiors it, like they have so many different uh, choices and options for when you when you buy a carpet for your car. So, and I'm pretty sure they have like a wide, you know, database of all different cars. So I'm sure there's not really any limitations on which car you have. Um, but again, so like I bought this carpet kit. So I bought this is a the whole front like clip of the carpet, and then I also bought a rear hatch like where the spare tire is. I bought that carpet kit as well. It all comes in like one, you can either get one or the other or you can get both. So I just decided to get both because I just, you know, I figured if, if I was going to buy it, I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy one and buy the other, you know, I just rather have both of them just in case. And I know it's kind of weird to repaint a whole new inside of the car and then put a carpet kit over it, but I kind of just want to have it fresh and clean and painted and then I wanted to put a nice new carpet in it just because that's what I like and I just wanted to make sure like everything was pretty much pristine. And I decided if like, <clears throat> if I got another 240 uh, down the road, then I, and if I wanted to change carpets, then I'd have a, a perfectly brand new carpet to put in it. So this carpet um, is a charcoal color. I almost went with black, but I figured black might be a little too like dark. Hold on, I feel like. Charcoal is like a mixture of black and gray, so it is still dark and it still gives me like that really nice clean look. But it also isn't like too dark where jet black will kind of like show everything. This will still show a lot of like dirt and stuff, but it's not nearly as bad as like straight jet black. And I kind of wanted something different to kind of offset the colors. So I went with this and they also, in stock interiors, if you're gonna buy from there, for your, like any of your JDM cars or any of your cars that you just are kind of hard to find like carpets for. Uh, just know that you can get a bunch of different colors, you know, red, blue, you know, whatever kind of weird color you want. And then they also offer like a, like this is a cut pile style of carpet. I think that's kind of the only ones they offer. I could be wrong, um, but they, will, they offer a, like a regular cut pile, which is like this, but, and they also offer a extra plush cut pile but I wanted to do this one just because it made more sense for me. I don't need an extra plush cup pile because that just is more money out of my pocket for something that doesn't need a lot of time, money invested into it. And they also offer something called mass backing, which is on the back of the carpets. You get like a thicker carpet for probably like heat absorption and also just comfort and everything. I didn't opt for that too. I just wanted something that was simple and easy and I could just throw into the car real quick. So I just got like the kind of like the base model so this this carpet you see it has like a all the, it already has these holes that i've already cut because i i actually just put it in the car and was cutting the holes to get it to fit so it'd be easier to you know show you how it goes in rather than trying to like struggle with it uh, but just know when you buy this carpet for your 240 or maybe for your other car they'll it probably won't become it won't come pre-cut so just be like aware of that it's not going to come pre-cut with the holes or have anything uh, for you to like designate you where to cut so if you already have a carpet in your car the best thing to do is just take the old carpet out lay next to the new one and then just cut like have a template cut where the holes are but i don't have my old carpet so i really kind of had to finagle with it i didn't I, I can't imagine this is the best job and i won't say it is but uh for trying to 
wrestle with it and not have a template to go off of, I feel like it's pretty good. And so well, I'll show you putting it in the car, but let's get to unwrapping all the freaking stuff that's in there still. So. So, let's take off my shoes because those are going to be dirty. Oh! Some sweet hangers. Really slight airtight wrap job. I didn't do this. I'm not the one, I won't take the credit for wrapping all this up. Shout out to my dad for doing that, because I didn't do it. But kind of glad that he did, so that I didn't paint over all this stuff. Because like, the back half of the car, I didn't wrap up that wiring and it all got painted, which wasn't a big deal, but I'm just glad this stuff wasn't painted. Now we're going to put this in here. It's going to be a pain, but I'll tell you that right now. This is like struggle bus right here. It's the wiring. Okay. <laughs> Struggling so hard right now. It's these damn wires, bro. Almost in there. <laughs> Dude, I can't get it. I swear. I can't get it. Just as easy as that. <laughs> it took me forever. Okay. So now that it's in the car, um, yeah. Now I gotta put all this other shit back. So that's it. Um, there's really nothing else to this, or really nothing else to this video. Just remember, like when you do this, um, to make sure that you cut like 
correctly where your stuff is because if you don't then it, it'll probably be show you know if you obviously if you don't and you cut it in the wrong spot you know it's gonna show um, so just make sure you do it correctly make sure you got the carpet out um, another thing to you know I, another thing to think about too is like when you're when you're getting the carpet out like when you first buy it um, place it in the Sun because when you when you when it's wrapped up in the box it doesn't ha have its original shape so it won't be as easy to put in the car and also cut it or it won't be as easy to kind of form it to the car and then um, to figure out where you need to cut it at so just leave it in the Sun for like a couple hours like maybe while you're working on something else you know and then you can go out and grab it and then start working on the carpet um, but yeah I mean that's just a that's just like a pro tip um, but other than that it, it was pretty easy uh, don't be afraid to install a new carpet in your car I really like this carpet I think it looks like really good and it's better than just sitting on metal and I I think it's gonna look really nice especially for being like a street car drift car race car whatever you want call it I think it'll be I think it's a good addition so um, in the next video I'm probably gonna be installing the rest of the interior it, like reshelling the whole car so I'll probably in that video I'll probably show you just like throwing the or uh, throwing all the pieces back in and getting the seat probably put back in and just making it like pretty nice so until then have a good day thanks for watching and go do this to your car check out stock interiors they're the hookup so peace out